Chapter Eight: Safety and First Aid. Important Terms: Careful, Alert, Cure, Treatment, Soothe, Comfort. Instructions: Rules to follow. Prevention: To avoid something. Scouts: Members of NCC. Synthetic: Made by chemical process. Scatter: Spread. Extinguish: To put off. Accident: An unpleasant event causing injury or damage. Electric stove: An electric apparatus used for cooking. Immersion: The state of being dipped in a liquid. Zebra crossing. White stripes where pedestrians cross the road. Every day, some minor or major accidents take place on road. Accidents can occur anywhere at any point of time. They can hurt anyone who is not careful. Almost all accidents take place when we are careless. We carelessly cut our fingers instead of vegetables with the chopper. Cross the road without looking. Running vehicles. Drive rashly. Lean too far out of the window, and so on. So, safety is important for saving lives. We can keep safe and avoid accidents by being aware of our surroundings and following some simple rules. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Safety at home. We feel comfortable and safe at our home by being careful about a few small things. We can avoid accidents at home. Be careful while climbing and coming down the stairs. Do not rush or push anyone. Never slide down the railing. Use a stool or ladder to reach something kept at a height. Keep things like matchbox, candles, knives, medicines, etc. away from the reach of children. Always keep floors clean and dry. Do not put fingers into electric sockets. In case someone gets an electric shock and is still connected to a live wire or an electric appliance, do not touch that person. Use anything made of wood, like chair, stick, or a thick dry cloth to move that person away from that place. It is best to turn off the main switch carefully. Things like toys, books, etc., should not be left scattered on the floor. In case you hurt yourself through a dusted object. Consult a doctor. You may need an anti-tetanus injection. Do not play with sharp-edged objects like knives, blades, and pins that can cut and prick you. Safety rules while using electrical appliances. We should always use electrical equipment carefully. Never touch an electric heater or stove when it is in switched-on mode. In case of an electric shock, turn off the main switch. Be careful while using electrical appliances like iron, oven, etc. If water is being heated with an immersion rod, do not touch the bucket in switched-on mode. Further, the bucket too should not be made of metal. Never touch electric fittings with wet hands. Safety on roads. Roads are made for the easy passage of vehicles. There are some precautions that many of us forget and thus meet with accidents. While on road, certain rules need to be followed. Always walk on footpath. If there is no footpath, walk while facing the traffic. Cross the road only from a zebra crossing. Make sure that the walk signal is green, which indicates that it is safe to cross the road. Stop and look to left, then to right, and then to left again before you cross a road. Be careful while crossing the road. Remember to walk and not to run. Never play on the road. Never keep your head or hands out of window of a moving vehicle. Safety while swimming. Always go with your elders when you go for swimming. Always swim in a protected pool only. Do not push one another into the water. Never swim if you have fever or cold. Do not go towards the depth of the pool while swimming. Safety at school. Never play or run in the classroom. Do not jump over tables and chairs. Never throw things around in the class. Do not push or pull one another while ascending or descending stairs. Fire safety. Fire is a part and parcel of our life. It helps us cook food, keeps us warm, and lights up our way in the dark. 
However, it becomes our enemy when it goes out of control. Then it can kill or harm us. It can destroy our homes. It can reuse an entire forest into an empty land and burn everything into ashes. Prevention It is very difficult to know when the fire may start. It may start for something as small as lighted matchstick that is carelessly thrown away. It can also start from a candle burning near a curtain. Carelessness during the course of cooking can become the cause of a big fire. Here are some methods you can follow to avoid fire. Wear cotton clothes while standing near the cooking stove. Synthetic clothes catch fire easily and swiftly. Do not play with lighters and matchsticks. Extinguish a used matchstick before throwing it away. Store petrol and kerosene safely. Away from any source of heat since such things catch fire easily. Turn off the gas stove and regulator when they are not in use. If a fire starts at a place around you, cover your nose and mouth with a wet cloth. Smoke kills more people than actual fire. Get to the floor and crawl out of the room. If the fire has started due to electric gadgets or oil, never use water to extinguish it. Use sand instead. For all other fires, use a fire extinguisher and water. If doors are closed, first put your hands against them. If the doors are felt hot, it means that there is a fire on the other side. Do not open the door. Try to find another way to get out. In case someone is on fire, roll him back in a blanket till the flames are put on. Do not pour water on a person with severe burns as the person may go into a state of shock. If your clothes catch fire, never run if your clothes catch fire since this will fan the fire and spread it. Stop where you are and cover your face with your hands. Drop to the ground. Roll on the floor. This will cut off the air supply and put out the fire. It will also reduce the burns you may get. Factors cope. Steam can also cause burns. First aid. In case of an accident take place, call a doctor. Before the doctor arrives, proper care of the victim should be taken. This is known as first aid. It is the immediate and correct medical help given before the doctor arrives. Often, it can save a life and reduce injury. While giving first aid, it is important to stay calm and act fast. Cuts and wounds. Wash cuts and wounds with the help of water. Clean them with a few swabs of cotton soap in an antiseptic solution like Dettol or Savlon. Cover the cuts with clean bandage or gauze. Burns. If we touch any hot object, we get burns. For minor burns, dip the pot in cold water or hold the burn pot under running water for some time. Do this immediately. This holds the wound and thus you skip a fever burn. Minor burns heal on their own. In case of more serious burns, consult a skin specialist immediately. Nose bleed. In case your nose bleeds, stay calm and do not panic. Sit upright and press the nose tightly with your fingers. Keep it closed for 5 to 10 minutes. This stops the blood from flowing. Breathe through your mouth. Bend forward to avoid swallowing the blood. Fainting situation. If a person faints, make him lie down for a while. Keep the head low so that extra blood may reach the brain. Poisoning We have invented many things to kill death. There are such sprays, nail paints, wall paints and detergents that have harmful chemicals. These can prove poisonous if you smell or swallow them. All such things must be kept away at a safe place. It is also important to wash your hands after using any of these things. In case of poisoning, Read and follow the instructions on the container. Rush the person to a doctor. Also, carry the source that has caused the poisoning with you. This will help the doctor to take the right action.